Anheuser-Busch InBev, is strategizing to bounce back as the top beer brand in America. The company plans an extensive advertising initiative for Bud Light during the Super Bowl. After facing consumer backlash, Bud Light experienced a sharp descent in its standing in beer rankings. The strategy involves two Bud Light commercials and one Michelob Ultra ad to boost sales. Company's CCO Kyle Norrington stresses the opportunity Super Bowl offers for their brands. The initiative involves high investments, with a 30-second slot costing nearly $7 million. This move aligns Bud Light with NFL followers, a significant demographic for sales recovery. Bud Light sales reported a severe 28.9% drop compared to the previous year. Contrastingly, Modelo Especial saw a 15.1% rise, overtaking Bud Light for the top position. Interestingly, Modelo is beneath the InBev brand umbrella outside the U.S., but distributed by Constellation Brands within. Bud Light's decline started in 2023, following a marketing blunder and a poorly received campaign featuring Dylan Mulvaney. The main Super Bowl ad will leverage humor to re-establish Bud Light's connection with consumers. A fresh appealing character is expected to be introduced within the easy-to-drink, easy-to-enjoy narrative. A nostalgic 30-second ad will highlight beer distributors' role in Bud Light's journey. The ad is expected to feature the iconic Clydesdale horses, a symbol of Budweiser's legacy. This strategic campaign during the Super Bowl is designed to resurrect Bud Light sales. However, it remains unknown if these commercials will effectively restore Bud Light's popularity. Despite the ambitious nature of the advertising blitz, it might not be enough to halt the sales decline. The ultimate success of the initiative will be contingent on consumer reception. Consequently, Anheuser-Busch InBev waits for the Super Bowl, hoping for a turn of fortunes for Bud Light.